So in the past, we've done a lot of video podcast type things where there was three guys sit on a couch and we were just like talking about stuff, answering questions. Then it kind of evolved to where it was Max and I and we were playing guitars and talking about stuff. So I want to do something that's a little bit different than what I think we well definitely different than what we've done before. What I want to do is answer the questions that you guys want to ask, bring you value, basically is what I want to do. So I want to be able to make videos for you to answer questions, and help you be a better guitar player, have more fun playing guitar, and really just have fun doing it at the same time. So with that said, this begins a different series of videos here. Everyone's doing like vlogs and stuff like that, and I'm not really like, you don't want to see my day to day life because it's pretty boring for the most part. Like I would make three videos and it would be almost the same thing. I'm usually sitting at my breadboard most of the time or I'm sitting at a computer a bunch of the time or I'm talking on the phone a lot of the time. It's always about guitar stuff, but it's just not like I don't get to play pedals all day long, except on the days that I can, which is kind of cool. So you know, like you're asking me, what's a breadboard? Let me show you. All right, so this is a breadboard. And, uh, you know, it's a messy workbench, I understand. So this is, the, the, so is my lifestyle. <laughs> so this thing allows me to build a circuit quickly without soldering. So I can, you know, do different ideas and see if they work out. I can actually plug a guitar right into it. Uh, it's powered and everything. So it's a good way to, uh, to, to come up with new designs. Okay, so the thing I'm going to actually show you today is a little bit about multiple mics. So some guys like to use two mics, some guys like to use one mic. I like to use three mics most of the time, just depending. But the problem with that is, um, what you hear a lot of people say is, there's a mathematical rule. If you have like a mic, uh, you know, an inch away, then the next mic needs to be three inches or more away, I believe, or some stuff like that. Me being the way I am, I kind of like to do things my own way. So what I actually do is I just align everything. I'll align all the, um, the sine waves and uh, to get an accurate guitar sound. If you don't do that, you get some comb filtering type effects and that's a uh, uh, probably a confusing word for some people. But basically it just means that the guitar doesn't sound like it's supposed to sound. It doesn't sound like it's the sound coming from the amp. So, I mean, I can actually demonstrate that with software and show you exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, so what I have here is uh, I have some pre recorded tracks. So, I'm actually using a plugin called AU Sample Delay. What this allows me to do is change the samples, uh, basically, delaying the time. So, the mic that's the farthest away, I'm not going to delay. The mic that's the closest, I am going to delay. That way those, those sound waves, those sine waves, actually line up. So I'm sure there's a great science on how to figure this out. First of all, I tune up my ear. So let me, let me turn all the plugins off. Uh, that's not, let's see, we'll take that off. We'll take that off. I got a little graphic EQ on the SM57, by the way, just for a little bit of bottom end. So without any sort of uh, correct, you know, any sort of correction for the microphone distances, this is what a cranked twin sounds like. I've actually I'm hitting it with the tube screamer as well, but it's a cranked twin. <laughs> Now, whenever the plugins are enabled, I've already done it here, it sounds like this. This track here, 
isolated by itself sounds like this. So mic number two, which, sound, and which sounds like this, and by the way, uh, mic one is a ribbon, and mic two is a ribbon, and mic three is a Shure SM57. And mic number three, which is the SM57, sounds like this. So keep in mind that what I'm playing right now is track one, two, and three. Those are my three mics. Mic one being a ribbon, mic two being a ribbon, mic three being a Shure SM57. So for mic one, there's nothing. Mic two, I have this sample delay set at 10 samples. Mic three, sample delay is set at 28 samples. Now, like I said, I like to really fine tune things myself. So here, here's what it's going to sound like with it if it's completely out of whack. I'll just change the values here. Set this at 50. Set this at, let's say, 100. Now, let's see what that sounds like. So this is the this is my track one, my mic one wave. So really zoom in on this area here. And zoom in on this line. You notice, watch the line in comparison to the sine wave. Notice how the wave, the distance from the red line is changing just a little bit. And that's the distance of the mics. And that's really what's creating all that comb filtering, which is creating the change in sound. I just showed you some examples of, uh, you know, how changing that distance can, can mess all that up. And um, I also showed you whenever you correct it what, it, what it looks like, what it sounds like. So real quick, let's go check what the mics look like, what they're set up like. Okay, so this is the cabinet that I'm using. I think it's, I think it's a birch cabinet. It's got green braids, which are kind of like, kind of greenbacky sort of style speakers in it. Just, I love, love the way it sounds when it's overdriven. You can see I have the... SM57. I also have two ribbons. And all, you know, basically I'm trying to hit different parts of the speaker. There's not really a huge science behind it for me. It's more, to me, it's just moving stuff around and using my ears. So uh, that's what we got going on in here. So that's really the gist of it. It's just a very quick and easy way to eliminate having to move mics you know a quarter of an inch at a time to really try to get that that, that right sound um, I love using it to, to get a accurate sound of what that cabinet actually sounds like it's a free plugin I believe it's just called AU sample delay I believe and there's a ton of them out there a lot of them are free as well the guitar I used on it was this Les Paul you know just a I think it's about a 90s-ish studio Les Paul. So yeah, I hope you learned something. Hope uh, it helps you do your recordings. And there's nothing wrong with using one mic. Feel free to use one mic uh, if you like it. I just, I like getting as accurate a sound as I can out of that guitar cabinet. All right, so that's all I have for today. We'll see you next time.